In an environment that's both exciting and supportive, over 375 students were able to sample several sports set up at different stations. The offerings ranged from bowling to basketball and an obstacle course. Everyone was able to join their peers in trying the activities. The whole uh, purpose of this event is so that they can fit in and they can find a sport that they maybe really like. Some students like basketball but have never tried it and maybe they pick up a basketball for the first time or a bowling ball for the first time. So we want to provide those opportunities for students to be able to take what they learn today and then be able to uh, advance their career in sport through Special Olympics and through that programming. And it makes them feel included in terms of being able to share their, their skills and their knowledge and their laughter and their humor with other students uh, who also have similar special needs. Students who discover a sport that really captures their attention may have the option to continue playing as the 11 sports they were trying are just some of 18 also available through Special Olympics. So a lot of the sports that we are offering today are ones that are easily uh, transmissible, transmissible and being able to be able to carry over uh, for their career throughout their entire life. This is a fairly new initiative between the Halton District School Board and Special Olympics Ontario. Began only in 2023. It proved very successful and has been extended. One of the measurements of that success was a considerable amount of positive feedback from the parents of students who participated. Many families reach out to us, not only right at the end of the event, but over the days and weeks through phone calls and emails, uh, just saying what a wonderful event it was for their students, how their kids just came home energized, excited, and couldn't wait to come back again the next year. Students will also have an opportunity to participate in a special athletes track meet hosted by the school board in June. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.